Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children nestled all snug in their beds with visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And I and my cap had just settled our brains on the long winter's day. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. And what to my wondering eyes should appear? But a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his horses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher! Now Dancer! Prancer and Vixen on Comet, on Cupid, on Dauber and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. The dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, up to the sky. So up to the house top, the courses they flew. With a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little roof. As it drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas. head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. <laughs> a bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. <laughs> and the beard of his chin was as white as snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump. A right jolly elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to play. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger beside his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all.